so then uh, so maharaj said okay chant allah nimai now nimai is the name of lord goranga mahaprabhu so as mana said okay chant allah nimai they said yes allah nimai so they chanted the names of lord nimai so devotees they are tricky and then uh, he said okay you have chanted the names of nimai you should now chant nitai again they were not chanting the names of nitai because no it is haram it is not considered pious that to chant of anyone else apart from allah so then maharaj said okay ni say ni they said ni maharaj said okay tai tai now say it together ni tai ni tai ni tai yeah so devotees of the lord they are tricky vaishnav prabhupad asked the devotees can a devotee be tricky is devotee tricky and devotee said no shri prabhupad devotee is not tricky devotee is very innocent devotee is very simple devotee is not tricky shri prabhupad said no devotee is tricky i am tricky i tricked all of you to krishna consciousness even you never wanted it so i tricked you so that is devotees they always find out the, the the ways and means so that even faithless can chant the names of the lord so how is it an offense when we chant the names or say we we preach the glories of the holy name to someone what kind of offense is that firstly we should not talk straight away esoteric details about the holy name like for example when you chant hari krishna then radha and krishna dance on your tongue and then from your tongue they go to your heart and then they dance in your heart and then your heart becomes rasa sthali and somebody says oh come on please give me a break the radha krishna dancing on tongue and dancing in the heart ah oh, these hari krishnas have brainwashed you they have brainwashed you they see the kind of ideologies you are following what's this what's this man what's this this is an offense when we instruct the esoteric glories of the holy name to the faithless person then it becomes an offense but generic glories of course we can say like for example if we say when you chant hari krishna then you become more stress free and this is fine your focus is increased that's fine your relationships they improve that's perfectly fine so these kind of generic glories we say like when we take the mind management art of mind management so we tell about chanting hari krishna yeah the mind gets managed manahatarayate iti mantra mind gets delivered by chanting so these kind of generic glorifications when we do that that's perfectly okay one more consideration in this offense is that when we are giving the glories of the holy name the other person should have the liberty to leave the place like so for example if i am driving a car 150 km per uh, per hour speed and that person who sitting next to me say now hear the glories of the holy name you cannot escape the car is 150 km per hour <laughs> and, <clears throat> and then the glories are happening now the person cannot escape it so in this case also we would get the offense so the second consideration about the this particular offense is that the other person should have the liberty to leave that place that's why when we do hari naam sankirtan or we when we do nagar sankirtan at that time there are people who are who are uh, seeing us from the window from the rooftop they are looking at us and those who are faithless they say well not interested and they have the liberty to leave that's why in harinam sankirtan there is no offense because we are giving the people the liberty those who want to stay they can be there and those who do not want to stay okay that's up to you but yes uh, we should be very conscious of gradually revealing the glories of the holy name like in the beginning there can be just prasadam also little bit of singing dancing and then they can be prasad in this way gradually as the person develops faith then gradually to similar proportion we can reveal the glories of the holy name but straight away if we go to the esoteric part of the glories of the holy name that would be an offense so now the next offense is equating the chanting of hari krishna with a with the pious activities like there are people who chant the names of the lord but they have but they do it because it's very pious it's because in the family lineage it is coming so that's why they they chant the names like during the time of bhakti sada maharaj people used to wake up the deities of radha and krishna and they were people who are like ritualistic followers they would sing the song radhe jago 
राधे वे कब राधे वे कब राधे 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 वे कब 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 राधे वे कब राधे वे कब वे कब वे कब वे कब वे कब राधे 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 वे कब वे कब वे कब सुशल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस प्रभुपात की फ्रॉम बिहाइंड फुट इज हैंड ऑन द शोल्डर सर फर्स्ट यू वे कब सो दैट वॉज ही वॉज स्टॉपिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ रिचुअलिस्टिक शैंटिंग and radhe wake up what is this mantra nothing so in the section of the vedas there are karma kandas and there are this karma kanda section and also there is gyan kanda section so karma kanda section that's also there which is the part of um, the punya karmas which are done in the as a sacrifice in the holy scriptures but doing karma kanda one can go to bhur bhuva and swar that means earthly planet one can get a pious birth and on earthly planet or bhur or bhuvar that means uh, there are planets of uh, the heavenly damsels or heaven of uh, indra so these three planets uh, can be achieved we can achieve a higher birth in these three planets by doing karma kanda and by doing gyan kanda one can go to higher planetary systems one can go to uh, maharlok uh, janolok tapol tapolok janolok and brahmalok so these four planets can be achieved by doing the gyan kanda section of the vedas usually we see that there is only hell and heaven no sir there is more variety to it but all of this can be achieved by doing pious activities which are mentioned in the scripture and there are other sections in the vedas as well you can one can go to bhil swarga that means there are planets beneath earth atal vital sudal tala tala sadar mahatal tala tala patal all these seven planetary systems beneath the earthly planetary system so one can do some pious activity one can go to these places places and they are known as bhil swarga that means there is so much sense enjoyment this sense enjoyment is even greater than swarga so much a sense enjoyment but people are hyper materialistic very very materialistic so karma kanda section of the vedas it can take us to these planets and that's it nothing more there there was one person he was a brahman but he was attached to a prostitute and as he was attached to the prostitute so um so he was carrying one garland for her but as he was crossing the river so there was whirlpool in the river and uh, the river and the boat got stuck in the in the whirlpool and this brahmin could see that well now i am about to get drowned what to do with this garland well and then as he was about to drown before drowning ritualistically he said om govinda ay namaha this is for you and then he offered this jasmine flower garland to, to to the lord so and then he died so yamaraj so yamdutas they came to him and they took him to yamaraj the yamaraj said okay mr brahmin only sinful activities only sinful activities what you have done only one pious activity before dying you offered flower garland to the lord and that were ritualistically indifferently they said okay om govinda and when then you died so because of this pious activity which you have done we would give you residence in swarga for one month okay but the kind of sinful activities which you have done you are to rot in hell for 25000 years so what would you like to where would you like to go first 25000 hell 25000 years of hell or one month of heaven Then, well, of course. First, let me go and enjoy one month of heaven, and then I'll go to hell as well. Yeah. So then he went to the heaven. As he went to heaven, there he saw so many beautiful gardens full of flowers, and then he remembered. Well, I negligently, apathetically, indifferently, I just gave the flower garland, and as I gave this flower garland, Om Govinda Ayanama, I got residence in heaven for one month. wow so by this he had developed faith in the holy name and then entire month he was doing he was clearing all the gardens in heaven om govinda namo om govinda namo om govinda namo om govinda namo plucking all the flowers and offering to lord govinda om govinda namo 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 many many gardens were cleaned by him after one month him dutas hey your one month is done come out now 25000 years of hell come And as he was taken to Yamaraj, Yamaraj opened his account, 
finished no account zero karma because he developed faith in the lord and now what he was doing was pure chanting nicely attentively faithful chanting prayerful chanting and that's what the result was that the karmas were burnt karmas were burnt so in this way we see that there is difference between ritualistic worship and then there is spiritualistic worship like we see in the example of lord shri krishna the yagya patnis were doing spiritualistic worship and the husband of the yagya patnis they were doing uh, ritualistic worship even though krishna balram are there themselves they are standing there instead of attending them they are doing swaha 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 sir swaha here is the lord himself you are offering to yagya purush but here is lord himself here serve them but yagya patnis were more spiritualistic shastras okay it is mentioned that the pious merits which you acquire by doing one Hundred million Ashwamedh Yagya can be acquired by chanting one name of Lord Govinda. Who agrees to this statement? Raise your hand. One hundred million Ashwamedh Yagyas, the pious merits which can be acquired, can be acquired by chanting one names of Lord Govinda. Who has a faith in this statement? Raise your hand. That yes, this is true. Raise your hand. who has this much of faith let me see who has this much of faith okay great all of you have this much of faith now here the statement of shri chaitanya charitamrit chaitanya charitamrit says that anybody who has this who agrees to this statement that the pious merits which we acquire by doing 100 million ashwamedh yagyas is equal to one name of lord govinda is an atheist He is an atheist. Oh, that was shocking. Yes, because even hundred million Ashwamedh Yagyas are absolutely insignificant before the name of one name of Lord Govinda. One name of Lord Govinda is so great, so exalted. So everybody says, "Yeah, they are equal." So then Chaitanya Chandra says, "You are an atheist. You are Pashandi. You are stone-hearted. How can you compare just hundred million?" Ashwamedh Yagyas to name of Govinda, name of Govinda is spiritual. How can you compare it with the Ashwamedh Yagya? Absolutely not. So now, then Shri Bhakti Thakur also explains that there are uh, pious merits. There are different categories of pious merits. One category is known as Bhogon Mukhi Sukriti. That means those pious merits which make us more inclined towards sense enjoyment. Like all these film stars, Bollywood, Hollywood stars, uh, great industrialists, rich people, they are they have abundant amount of bhogon mukhi sukriti. Sukriti means means pious merits. Bhog unmuk. Bhog means sense enjoyment. Unmuk means inclined. That which makes us more inclined towards sense enjoyment is known as bhogon mukhi sukriti. Okay. Now there is bhogon mukhi sukriti. There is one more. Sukriti that is known as mukti unmukhi sukriti. Mukti unmukhi sukriti. Mukti means liberation. Unmukhi means that which makes us makes one inclined. And sukriti means pious merits. So those pious merits which make make one inclined towards mukti, liberation. I want to become free from cycle of birth and death. Mukti. They are mostly found in Rishikesh, Haridwar. They are found in such places. So this is known as mukti unmukhi sukriti. And Shri Bhakti Nath Thakur ji says. that both of these sukritis both of these pious merits are material pious merits bhogon mukhi sukriti as well as mukti un mukhi sukriti because in one one is trying to be happy by enjoying in another one is trying to be happy by renouncing but i am trying to be happy and there is third sukriti as well the nature of the third sukriti this third sukriti is bhakti unmukhi sukriti that means that pious merit which makes one inclined towards bhakti towards devotion devotion service that is known as bhogon mukhi sukriti so when we chant the names of the lord we can get we can get bhakti unmukhi sukriti although in our constitution it's a mix it's a mix of all the three in our constitution there is also bhogon mukhi sukriti so that's why we see sometimes devotees get into sense enjoyment as well 
sometimes in public sometimes in private devotees sometimes they get into sense of joy because some bhogun mukhi sukriti we have also we have some mukti mukhi sukriti as well sometimes devotees say prabhu i just want to go back home back to godhead no more birth in the material world this is because of mukti mukhi sukriti because there is more inclination to become free from the cycle of birth and death not to serve radha and krishna but to become free from the cycle of birth and death so this is this is because of mukti unmukhi sukriti such people they want to spend time in seclusion they, they when they see devotees oh so much of crowd oh that's their condition so that's mukti unmukhi sukriti but in bhakti unmukhi sukriti one is more inclined towards bhakti but bhakti unmukhi sukriti becomes more condensed more condensed more condensed by association of devotees and by chanting hari krishna maha mantra and then this bhakti unmukhi sukriti becomes shraddha so adau shraddha beginning is by faith and by this faith one seeks association of devotees even more more and then we get bhajan kriya anarth nivritti and then nishtha then ruchi asakti bhav prem but this is how it starts it starts with bhakti unmukhi sukriti and bhakti un- Mukhi Sukriti is also given by a devotee. We cannot acquire it on our own. It is given by a devotee. Say somebody appreciates a temple of the Lord. Oh, such a nice Hare Krishna temple, ah? Huh? Yeah, they want a nice temple. Yeah, these Hare Krishnas are nice people. They are good guys, actually. The prasadam which they distribute is so delicious. Oh yeah, they are so selfless, actually. Yeah, yeah, oh, they are good. Just by this kind of appreciation, one gets Pai Sukriti. Or sometimes we see that when father comes to temple, father pays obeisances, and little toddler son. Hey, my dad lie down on the floor. I should also lie down, and then he also lies down, looking at the father. He is he up or not? Is he up or not? But Lord is accepting the obeisances of this child. In this way, the child is getting the sukriti, bhakti unmukhi sukriti. Or if somebody takes prasadam, there there are people who outsiders they come, they take prasadam, they get bhakti unmukhi sukriti. So bhakti unmukhi sukriti is also given by a devotee. and by acquiring the sukriti one again becomes more and more inclined towards krishna and one has got absolutely no interest in worldly activities in fact shri bhakti nath tagore says in hari naam chintamani that without the holy name even yagya the prayer meetings the meditation it is all fruitless without the holy name so even karma kanda is able to give its fruits its respective fruits because of the holy name i remember before i was before uh, becoming a devotee um you know uh, my parents took me to uh, to some pandit ji and this pandit ji said well the jupiter planet is weak hmm this child should chant krishnam vande jagat guru he should chant on mala krishnam vande jagat guru now at that time i did not know that krishna supreme lord because sometimes people follow polytheistic ideology in india so i was also victim of that so i started chanting krishna mande jagat guru krishna mande jagat guru krishna mande jagat guru and i'm chanting the names of krishna so even some ritualistic activity which is done in a karma kanda it also gives fruit because of the presence of the holy name just like there is a body so shri bhakti thakur says just like there is a body and in the body there is soul so body exhibits life because of the soul other body is dead the body is still dead but because soul is there that's why body appears to be living similarly the mantra is as the body the soul is the name even karma kanda gyan kanda karma yog gyan yog all of them they are able to give their respective fruits why because name is present if name is not there then it cannot work so like krishna mande jagat guru so jagat guru means the spiritual master of the universe mande means i pay my my obeisances whom to krishna so unto that krishna who is the spiritual master of the universe this creation i pay my obeisances krishna mande jagat guru so in order to make somebody's jupiter planet stronger one has to chant the names of lord govinda lord krishna so karma kanda they also give their results because of the holy name and also even mantras mantras also have potency because of the holy name in case the holy name is not chanted so no potency even jyotish astrology anybody who is chanting the names of the lord and if such a person goes to an astrologer and this person astrologer is not a ritualistic astrologer but a spiritualistic astrologer 
and he would say oh you are a hare krishna devotee you are chanting the names of krishna well then you are beyond me you are beyond me i cannot do calculations because now you are in krishna's control my jyotish shastra cannot do calculation for yours i remember i went to one uh, shri popa's disciple his name is atma tattva prabhu shri popa's disciple he was great astrologer as well when he was there with us in iskon so once he came to our temple around 10 years back i met him and uh, i said prabhu ji i came to know that you are such a great astrologer so uh, prabhu ji can you tell me whether will i stay as brahmachari or not because usually the new brahmacharis they have this concern whether i will stay as a brahmachari or not so i was a little anxious whether i will stay as a brahmachari or not what will happen to me what will, what's my future prabhu ji can you please tell me prabhu ji he said so okay amog lila do you chant your 16 rounds every day i said yes prabhu ji although not so good but um, yeah 16 yeah i chant okay do you follow four regular principles uh, yeah prabhu ji yeah i don't know about future but uh, presently i yeah, am going okay all right do you have affection for your guru i said yeah i am not very good disciple but uh, yeah i have affection for my guru and then he said well you give up these three activities then i can predict your life till the time you are chanting 16 rounds of hari krishna maha mantra till the time you are following four regular principles and you have affection you have respect for your guru till that time i cannot predict your future you are beyond astrology you are under krishna's control and then he quoted vishnuath chakravarti thakur he said vishnuath chakravarti thakur gives an example that chanting the names of the lord is so powerful that it burns all the karmas just like a rope is burned by the fire and when the rope is burned by the fire you can still see the coils the rope is burned so you can still see the coils but as soon as you put your finger in the coil there is no substance even though we can see the coil but there is no substance in that coil same thing happens when you chant the names of the lord lord the coils are still visible like our hand so we have these coils visible lifeline okay headline luck line this line okay yeah coils are visible yes but behind the coils the karma the karma is getting burnt so that's why one cannot one cannot predict the the exact future of the person who is chanting the names of krishna so krishna so krishna's name chanting krishna's name doesn't fall in the category of pious pious activities gyan kand karm kand no krishna's holy name is so powerful so wonderful actually in here one of the um, i think garud puran it mentions that donating 1 crore cows and donating gold equal to mount meru and they cannot they cannot be equated to one name of lord govinda Let's see how many cows, one crore cows in donation. Mount Meru, that much amount of gold being given in donation, and so many hundred million yagyas. Even then, the Lord, Lord Govinda's name is way greater than that because the nature of the holy name is absolutely different. That's why. So that's why we cannot equate the pious. Merits. But then Shri Bhaktivinoda Thakur says that although it is not that pious merits are absolutely against. bhakti you know it is not like that the pious merits they can be helpful in bhakti they can be helpful but the kind of journey which we are to cover to but krishna prem golok vrindavan the journey is very long so these pious merits they fall too short to reach to the perfection so that's why one cannot rely on these pious merits firstly they are mundane in nature and that too they are too minuscule in terms of their value addition to make us reach the holy abode golok vrindavan that journey is way too long but this way too long journey can become very easily be covered by chanting the names of krishna so that's why there cannot be equation we cannot equate chanting hari krishna with the pious activities uh, which are mentioned in the vedas no that's like belittling the glories of the holy name to such an extent oh my god no so that's why it should not be done so now the next offense which we have to cover is chanting inattentively chanting inattentively now this is the 11th offense although 
So 10th offense would be covered next time, next Sunday by His Honor Sachin Nandan Maharaj Ji. So he would be covering the 10th offense. But yes, 11th offense has been given to me. And Shri Bhakti Thakur says in Bhajan Rahasya, he says that this 11th offense is the root cause of all the 10 offenses. This 11th offense. And that's why he calls this offense as Pramad. It is madness. It is madness to remain inattentive, to become indifferent or be apathetic towards chanting the names of the Lord. The names of the Lord are so pure, so exalted. And such pure name is coming to us. And then, well, once his only Sachin Maharaj, he was saying in his lecture, he said, every day those who are chanting 16 rounds, that means they are chanting the names. How many names? Around 28,000 names every day. And single name of Krishna can give us Krishna Prem. One Shuddha Naam. One pure name can give us Krishna Prem. So that means every day we are giving, we are getting 28,000 chances, opportunities to get Krishna Prem. But alas, we are victim of the 11th offense, inattentive chanting. And that's why we are not able to connect to the holy name. Holy name is so powerful, so pious, so penetrating, so transforming. Yes, that's the holy name. In fact, holy name, how powerful holy name is. Even inattentively or somebody doesn't know the glory of the holy name, yet it works. Like there was one uh, article in Back to God in magazine, how I came to Krishna consciousness. So there was one boy, he was having video game, you know, video game. And while shooting, after shooting, somehow this player would say, Gauranga, toof, 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 toof. Gauranga, Gauranga, toof, 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 Gauranga, toof, 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 Gauranga. Somehow the programmer got this name Gauranga and he was, he was addicted to this game. And this has happened that his inclination towards his girlfriend, his uh, desire to drink wine, uh, do meat eating, he was becoming indifferent to that. He said, what's happening to me, man? I'm losing interest in eating meat, drinking wine. What's happening? And once he saw devotees doing Sankirtan and they were chanting the names of Lord Gauranga. He said, why are you, why are you taking this Gauranga? This is there in my video game. He would have said, well, I don't know about your video game, but that's the name of God. He said, oh. And when he, when he heard about the glories of the Holy Name, then he realized that even though somebody may chant inattentively the Holy Name, the Holy Name still works. And Srila Bhakti Thakur also says, why? Because reason being, even while being inattentive, while chanting Hare Krishna, in between comes episode where we are attentive. Like, for example, entire round goes inattentively. And after that, I realized, oh, yo. Entire round passed. I was lost. Crazy, man. And then couple of beads are attentive. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. But couple of beads, few beads, and then again person becomes inattentive. Again he would come, oh man. Again I went inattentive. So Srila Bhakti Thakur says, since in that episode of being inattentive, there comes small episodes of being attentive. And so gradually that starts expanding. But yeah, at the, at the same time, Shri Bhakti Thakur says, but the sadhaka should also make sincere, honest, earnest efforts to come out of inattentive chanting because that's pramad. That's pramad. That's madness that we are not chanting the names of the Lord attentively. And Shri Prabhupada used to say, if you want to sleep, you want to, you can sleep for 12 hours, but do not sleep and chanting and hearing. Do not sleep. Do not sleep while chanting. Do not sleep while hearing. You want to sleep for 12 hours, you sleep for 12 hours. But we see that in attentive chanting, the villain are Rajogun and Tamogun. Rajogun and Tamogun. Firstly, Tamogun. So, Shla, Shla, Shla Vishnath Chakruti, the obstacles in removing obstacles. Chanting Hare Krishna would remove all the obstacles. But there are Obstacles in getting remo in removing the obstacles. So first obstacle is lie. Lie means sleep. We sleep. Lie means to lie down. <sighs> That's why it is a lie. So, so sleep is the first villain in chanting attentively. We get distracted by sleep. And I see so many devotees. My God, we are all victim of 
the sleep. I am telling you in my beginning days of my Krishna consciousness, in the year 2000, I used to sleep so much, so much. My I would stand maybe four, five, six rounds in the morning. The rest of the time, I am just sleeping. So, sleep is a great big obstacle. I saw one devotee, the other she was recorded in the uh, 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 and then after 8 minutes, 10 minutes would wake up and then say, Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shivasri Gaurav Kavins. And then after 2 hours, I asked him, So Prabhu, how many rounds? He said, Well, I am done with 14. 14? When did you chant even 14 times, Baba? What to speak of 14 rounds? So I see sometimes devotees I have also struggled for many, many years because of sleep. So what should be done to fight with this obstacle of sleeping? Because we are to enter the, the, the doors, one after another doors, many doors. There are five doors which we are to open. And once we are done with the five doors, as per Vishnu Chaitanya and Madhuri Kadamani, then we can reach Krishna. Because Lord Chaitanya resides in the innermost chamber of the, of the heart. So that means there are other chambers as well. So innermost chamber is is of Lord Chaitanya. So first one is sleep. So how to conquer this obstacle of sleep? So first thing is that we firstly we should recognize is that yes, I am feeling sleepy. I see some night devotees they do not even acknowledge that I am feeling sleepy. And then they are chanting so honestly, confess, yes, I am feeling sleepy. Confess it. And then we can take some corrective measure to take care of it. So one can have a one can drink a glass of water. One of the reasons why devotees feel sleepy is because of lack of water. Like last time also I was saying as because of lack of water, the blood is warm, and because the blood is warm or hot, and that's why. Brain receives a hot blood and that's why we feel dull. Because brain says, well, this person is tired, he should sleep. And that's why we tend to sleep. So we should have sufficient water intake. And also take sufficient amount of rest. One should take sufficient amount of rest. In case we have not taken rest sufficiently, we would feel sleepy while chanting. So we should take five and a half hours to six hours of rest. That's also important. We should also reduce oily food intake. Especially at night time. Pakolas and such things which are very oil-rich food. When we take oil, rich food, so the body takes more time to digest it. And that's why more oxygen is required at the stomach area, at the belly part, to digest the food. So in the morning when we get up, so there is not sufficient oxygen here. And because of lack of oxygen in the brain, we feel sleepy. So at night time, we should take lighter food. That's also important. Also, Shri Bhaksana Maharaj, he recommends that we should chant loudly. Because when we chant loudly, then that, that shakes us off from inertia. Shaken off. Yeah, shaken from inertia. So to come out of that inertia, one should chant loudly. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So clear, distinctly clear pronunciation. And then it should be loud chanting. Of course, then, we, then we can't sit near the devotees because then they would feel disturbed. Hey man, only not you are chanting. We are also chanting. So we should chant loudly and distinctly. Yeah. Also, there are three M's of chanting: method, mood, and mellow. So method means we should sit straight. Mood means the mood should be that of Trinadapi Sunichena, Tarorapi Sanshruna, Amanina, Manadena. We, we should have this mood that Krishna, I belong to you. You are my eternal aunt. And then mellow will come on its own. Like last time also we were, we discussed on, on this. So uh, so method, mood, and mellow. Also, we should not close our eyes. Sometimes I see devotees that completely close their eyes. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram. Ram, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. Ram, 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 Ram. Never close your eyes completely. Yogis, when they also sit, they do not close their eyes completely. 
they have their eyes semi closed we should also have our eyes semi closed and we should also try to just focus the eyes especially on the brikuti that's also helpful because the seating place of the mind is brikuti so we should try to as much as possible in case it gives you a headache then leave it but yes we should not completely close our eyes otherwise we feel uh, we get distracted by sleep now this is because of tamogun the first door to open and reach the innermost chamber of the heart the first villain is sleep so second villain is big shape which is distraction so we should always have a holy place and a holy time to chant the hari krishna maha mantra okay. early morning chanting that's also very essential okay. uh, one can ke- one can keep mantra card one can chant looking at the mantra card and chant hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram 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 hari hari so one can look at the mantra card and then chant hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram 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 hari hari mantra card is also very helpful in chanting and also while chanting we should not do any other activity no other activity like sometimes i see the devotees they are driving that it's a it's one hour journey to my office so in one hand there is bead bag hari krishna hari krishna ram 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 and then changing the gear giving race uh, ram 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 hari 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 krishna hari krishna hari so that should not be done while surfing internet because chanting is so boring i can't connect so let me have this whatsapp youtube and parallelly chanting hari krishna well that should not be done so like last time i was saying that this is like a heavenly damsel keep this damsel away before chanting so that so that we remain attentive also we should avoid morning walk japa morning walk japa is for those who have got some heart disease for those who are having some kind of health issues or those who are old people they have to walk in the morning it's very essential they can do japa walk apo they should be very and they should work harder in terms of keeping the mind on chanting but otherwise we should not do this japa walk when we are walking they are when we are then we are walking and when we are doing japa we should sit and chant as per patanjali yoga sutra as well when we chant with these cross legs so they make triangle and this triangle attracts the positive energy and more of this positive energy is there then this positive energy or cosmos helps us in meditation so this cosmic energy is even used by other sects like those who are even impersonalist and buddhist they also use it also while chanting hari krishna maha mantra we should do mantra arth chintan so mantra arth chintan so there is a meaning of the holy name oh radha and krishna please engage me in your service oh radha and krishna please attract my mind to you engage me please attract my mind let me hare ram hare ram 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 hare hare but these feelings we should chant so mantra arth chintan should be done and when we do this mantra arth chintan then man is able to connect with the holy name because the holy name and there is mantra and the connection between the two is mantra arth mantra arth chintan and in this way the mind stays with the holy name because mantra arth chintan is happening together otherwise like mercury and sulfur they do not mix if you mix mercury and sulfur they do not mix with each other when case you take mercury and sulfur together and then they mix they mix similarly our mind and the holy name they do not mix hari krishna ट्टी विच मीन ओकेजनल इन एबिलिटी टू चैन द होली नेम you know sometimes even there is no distraction i am not feeling sleepy and yet there is an opportunity to chant yet the person does not chant are chant i remember once i was doing mayapur yatra so there was one devotee who was walking i said prabhu you are walking we have got five more kilometers to cover why do you chant hari krishna 
He said, Prabhuji, I am done with 16. I am done with 16 rounds. But I said, yeah, Shri Prabhupada said minimum 16. So you can chant more because we are yet to cover five kilometers. So we are walking so you can chant. He said, yeah, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 it's good. No, no doubt. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll chant after some time. <laughs> I'll chant after some time. Ah. Occasional inability to chant is also an obstacle. Even though yeah, we are not feeling distracted, we are not feeling sleepy. Yeah. So, what to do in such a time? Firstly, we should preach to the mind as well. This is very helpful. We should preach to the mind. Why we study Shastra? We hear Shastra so that our intelligence is equipped to educate the nonsense, crazy mind. So that's why we should educate the mind as well. It's very important. Now, there was one lady, she was having her kid and the, guy, the, the kid was crying. Wah, wah. And the lady was saying, Jennifer, do not worry. Jennifer, everything will be fine. Jennifer, Jennifer, why, why do you worry? Mama? Everything will be fine. Jennifer. One guy came, excuse me. Why, why are you, you know, telling this, this girl? You know, shouting, and she doesn't seem like you know she's understanding you. you. You do you know her? Her name is Jennifer. She said, No, my name is Jennifer. So, huh? What your name is Jennifer? Yes, I was I was telling myself, Jennifer, do not worry, Jennifer, everything will be fine, Jennifer. So sometimes we have to educate ourselves. Many of the preachers they, they give preaching outside to the world, they, they are famous, influential, very good. But every preacher should spend double the amount of preaching which he does to the outside world. Preaching to his own mind. Very, very essential. Sometimes these are the preacher also, they, they, they slip out of Krishna consciousness. Why? Because preacher is not preaching to his own mind. The last thing which becomes devotee in our existence is our own mind. Rascal mind, nasty mind, crazy mind, mad mind. Oof. So that is what we have to do. And then also we should sing the songs of Vaishnav Acharyas, glorifying the holy name. Glorifying the holy name. Just like there is a very beautiful uh, uh, composition by Shila Bhakti Siddhanta, uh, Saraswirago Prabhupada, which is known as Hare Ranamashtakam. Yeah. So, which beautiful, very beautifully glorifies uh, the glories of the holy name. Madhuram Madhure Bhyopi. Mangale bhyopi mangalam Pavanam pavane bhyopi Hare ranamai vakevalam So this holy name is Madhuram Madhure bhyopi Among all the sweet things of this world, holy name is the sweetest. Pavanam pavane bhyopi Among all the sanctifying activities, the most sanctifying is the holy name. Madhuram Madhuram Bhyopi, uh, Mangale, Mangale Bhyopi Mangalam. Among all the auspicious activities, this is the most auspicious activity. Hare Renamai Vakevalam. Oh, the holy, holy name of Lord Hari is everything. So we should sing these kind of songs. When we don't feel like chanting, even though there is a chance, there is a time. So we should sing these kind of songs. They are very sweet songs, wonderful songs, such beautiful compositions. So this, these are the prayers which we, which we should do from the Vaishnava, the songs of Vaishnava Acharyas. Vishaye je priti ebe achaye ama Seimat priti hauka charane tuma The kind of attachment I have for the sense enjoyment, O Lord, O Holy Name. When that day would be mine, I would have similar attachment to you. O Krishna, O Holy Name, I love you. When that day would be mine that I really love you. It is one sided love. You love me, but I don't love you. So, singing the songs of the Vaishnava Acharyas, they are also very helpful in crossing this particular obstacle. We should also do reading and hearing of the glories of the holy name. So that even when we are alone, when we are doing nothing, at that time also we should be singing. We should be taking the names of the Lord. Yes. So, there are many wonderful books. Like by His Honor Sachin Maralai. Last time also I was sharing some of the books. Uh, Nectarian notion of the holy name, living name, broken names, and uh, uh, living names. Uh, Nectarian notion of the holy name, living name, perfect. Yeah. Naam Rahasya. So these are books by him. Japa by His Grace Burujan Prabhuji. And uh, Chant by Shivra Maharaj. And uh, Namamrit 
by uh, Shri Prabhupad, Harinam Chintamani and Bhajan Rahasya, Mahashila Bhaktivinoda Thakur. So these are some of the masterpiece Ashti books, wonderful books. So we should read the glories of the holy name as well to cross this obstacle in chanting attentively, which is known as Apratipatti. We can also sing the holy name in case you don't feel like Japa doing Japa, because Japa is hard. Okay, you can sing in your favorite tune. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare, Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare, Hare. Okay, sing if you can't do Japa, because Japa is hard. Sing the holy name, bring the element of music. But chant. In this way, we can cross over this or the third obstacle, the third door, which is known as a pratipatti. Now, this fourth obstacle in chanting attentively, which is known as kshai. Kshai. Sometimes this happens that we are chanting, but there is some kind of grudge, some anger, some disappointment, some resentment there in the heart. Somebody has hurt me. Somebody insulted me. And those wounds are there in the heart. And because of those wounds, we are not able to chant. Because whenever I chant, that repeat telecast of those wounds, those words, those insults, that injustice, keep popping up again and again. And the person is chanting also. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Rama, 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 Rama. Oh, ole, 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 oh, you are hurt. Yeah, I'm hurt. I can't forgive somebody, and because I'm not able to forgive somebody, that resentment is hurting. And that's why I do not chant my rounds attentively. I know people, they, they have gone through entire 16 rounds. All of 16 rounds. But that wound, that wound is not allowing the person to chant attentively. So, what is the solution? The solution is to do the exercise of forgiveness repeatedly. Repeatedly forgive. Forgive. Yes, I forgive the person. Yes. Yeah, it was a mistake, but I learned from the mistake. I learned from the whole episode. I learned. Yeah. So, in a way, it has added to my growth. So, that was my karma, also, you know. That person was just a, an instrument of that karma. That karma was supposed was meant to come to me. That person was just an instrument. If that per karma would not have come through this person, then would have come through some other person. But that karma would have come. So the person I should not have hatred for or bitterness for. I forgive. These are all my own karma. They are coming back to me. So I forgive. It's okay. Yes. Others have also forgiven my mistakes. I have done so many mistakes. But people have forgiven me. So I also should forgive. So when we do this forgiveness exercise, that, that resentment, that lava, that grudge, which is there inside. Ma, that can be conquered. So forgiveness. Very important. Also, we should do some menial services to the devotees. In fact, you see, one of the ways to conquer, one of the remedy, which is common remedy to all the offenses, whether previous one or previous to previous one, that is considered the holy name to be a ritualistic activity or preaching to the faithless. They can all be done. We can come out of them by doing Vaishnava Seva. And when Vaishnavas, they bless us, those blessings have so much of potency that we can be uplifted. Yes. We should take their uchishta. We should take their food remnants. Maha Maha Prasad. So we can immediately come out of it. Because you see, mostly these resentments and wounds are on low level of consciousness. More we evolve in consciousness, we laugh on those incidences. Oh my God, I was having resentment for such, such a thing. <laughs> I was really crazy. <laughs> we laugh on that incident. Once the consciousness is raised by the blessings of the Vaishnavas, 
but on the low level of consciousness the hurt keeps hurting that wound keeps hurting so this kshay this kshay is also uh, uh, is an obstacle one more thing which can be done is that we should hear the lives of the devotees the lives of the devotees who have immense patience immense patience because sometimes we become angry because nothing is happening baba it's been so many years nothing is happening sir let's listen to the lives of the vaishnavas who have served for hundreds and thousands of years waiting for krishna krishna would come krishna would come yes krishna will certainly come Yes, my guru dev told me if you chant attentively krishna will come i have full faith in my words of guru yes krishna will come so we should hear the lives of the vaishnav acharyas or vaishnav devotees who have waited so long like uh, vedavati she waited for the lord lord shri ramchandra she could not get lord ramchandra as husband from treta yuga she is waiting in kaluga she got married to venkat ramana govinda shrinivasa govinda when vedavati came as padmavati but so much of wait from treta yuga and dwapar yuga and kal yuga and then in between so many uh, so much of time passed by but she waited and i am not having patience in 5 years 10 years 15 years 20 years here is somebody who is waiting from ages for the lord to come and the lord gave fruit to vedavati who came as padmavati that he marries her every day in south india there is this is performance known as kalyanam padmavati marries the lord every day every day there is first night every day every night so lord said yeah you waited for me so much so these kind of lives of vaishnavas they help us conquer the the fourth door as well which is kshay i need ten- tendency to become angry or becoming impatient becoming restless that's the fourth obstacle now it comes the fifth door the last door hari bol we have opened the four doors in chanting hari krishna attentively wow now comes the fifth door and what is this fifth door fifth door is rasa aswad i am not feeling sleepy i am not being distracted i am not becoming restless or impatient okay and i am not having any grudge for anyone okay and i whenever there is a chance to chant i chant the holy name so there is no apratipatti four doors open fifth door is rasa swad rasa aswad now the four doors which we opened the knob was outside as well as inside so as we were trying so krishna also opened it and then we opened the door second door we moved the knob krishna moved the knob second door opened third door same thing fourth door same thing now fifth door the knob is only inside there is no knob outside that means we cannot open the knob the knob is only inside so in case the knob is only inside and now you are stuck outside open the four doors so what should we do to open the door let me hear from you what we should do who will tell what should we do in such a situation the door is closed from inside there is no knob outside i cannot do anything cry call for krishna okay i can hear some of the inputs and yes anyone else beg for mercy very good suri radhika mata ji nice okay knock shamala balavi mata ji saying knock 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 open the door pray to guru okay continue patiently devotee association pray to krishna knocking at the door by praying chant the holy name with love grace of the lord depending on causeless mercy sit down uh, and the door and chant cry 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 yes that is what we should be doing sitting outside the door we should be crying we should be begging oh krishna please kindly accept me i am yours hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare now we have to cry for his mercy genuine yearning lolyam ekam api mulyam yes the only price which we have to pay is intense greed so lolyam so we should cry 
Now somebody can say, well, Prabhuji, you said that we should cry for Krishna. But I don't feel like crying. Because the, I don't have the mood. I don't have to cry. Then what to do? Then Shilo Bhakti Maharaj, he says, if you cannot cry, then you should cry that you are not able to cry. In case you can't do that, then you should cry that you are not able to cry, that you are not able to cry. In case you can't even do that, then you should cry that you are not able to cry, that you are not able to cry, that you are not able to cry, that you are not able to cry. Able to cry. But you must cry. Laishla Gaurakun Maharaj, he said, in Bhuvaneshwar, when he opened the Krishna Vardhan Temple, he said, I opened a crying school. Here we would learn to cry for Krishna. Yeah. And when we genuinely cry for Krishna, Krishna's mercy, Krishna's grace. So then Krishna, then Shri Radharani says, Krishna, he's genuinely begging, Baba. Open the door. And then Krishna, well, Radhike, since you are saying, I have to open. And then we get to see the Lord in the innermost chamber of our heart. We get to see Gaur Sundar, Shachinandan Gaur Hari. We see Radha Krishna in the innermost chamber of the heart. All the obstacles in clearing the obstacles are cleared in this way. And then we can certainly relish the holy name. All right, I'll stop here now. If anybody has any question, we'll take a few questions and then we stop. Okay, Rachaita Mukherjee Mataji. Please go ahead. Now you can unmute yourself, Mataji. Uh, Hare Krishna Mataji. Uh, Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Could you just summarize the five doors of chanting? Okay, five doors. Okay. First one is Lay. Lay means to. Hare Krishna. Now, now, now. Mm. Sleep. That was the first door. So we discussed that this is the first door. Knob is inside, knob is outside. Efforts are also required. Mercy is also there. And then we open the door. We enter the second uh, chamber. And second chamber is Vikshape. Vikshape means distraction. First one is because of Tamogun. Second one is because of Rajogun. Distraction. We sit and our mind is running here and there. Uh, to do list. This is what I am to do. Grudges of the past. And planning about the future. In this way, the mind flies. Present tense, no, sorry, future tense, past tense. Past tense, future tense, and then mind flies. We have to cut these wings of past tense and future tense because of which my present is becoming tense. Be in the present. Yeah. So second was, second is wick shape. That means distraction. Third one is apratipatti. What is apratipatti? Apratipatti is occasional inability to chant. Even though, you know, I'm not feeling distracted, I'm, I'm not feeling sleepy, and there is time also. Yet the mind is not inclined to chant. So we should sing a song, the songs of Vaishnava Acharyas, and also we should preach to the mind. We should reward ourselves and when, we, when this mind says no chanting, yet we do chanting, and we should do, we should do hearing of the more and more glories of the Holy Name, and we should also sing the Holy Name. In case I can't do Japa, I can chant the Holy Name. And then the fourth door, Sorry, excuse me. The third door is opportunity. The fourth door is shy. Is I need tendency to be angry, becoming restless uh, or passionate. So why? Because there is grudge. There is lava. It's a hurt inside. So we should do the forgiveness thing. We should forgive the person. We should do some Vaishnav Seva, menial service to the Vaishnavas. Yeah. And also fill our life with gratitude also. We can, we can certainly say thank you to, to the Vaishnavas, the devotees, even the person who has hurt me. A thank you to the person because somewhere the person has positively contributed to my life. In a sense of gratitude. That can also be very helpful. And uh, yeah, so in this way, the fourth obstacle and then fifth obstacle is Ras Aswad. I've crossed all the four doors with inner knob, outer knob. Duk, 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 duk. Now I'm in outside the fifth door. There is no knob outside. There's only knob inside. Ras Aswad. How to do Rasa Aswad? That will happen by mercy of Krishna. So we have to beg outside. Oh Krishna, I'm yours. I beg you. Oh Radha. Oh Radha Krishna. Please. Oh Garang Mahaprabhu. Oh Nitai. I beg you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Rama. Hare Hare. And then by the mercy of Shishi Radha and Krishna Shri Gaunitai, 
we get the entrance into the innermost chamber of the heart and in this way all the obstacles in clearing the obstacles are cleared yeah uh, how can we uh, like control our restless mind because we think we have the habit of overthinking as you have specified in those five four doors so how can we overcome this uh, problem of you know resentment you know this uh, problem of overthinking uh, it is also a distraction but we should learn from namachari haridas thakur how did he deal with distraction when prostitute came he said oh haridas you are so handsome you are so pious you are so pure oh haridas I want to be your maid servant. Please accept me, O oh Haridas. So then Haridas Thakur, what did he say? He said, "Hey, you characterless woman, get lost." Did he say that? No, he did not say that. He said, "Yeah, yeah, of course, I will fulfill your desires. Once, let me chant my rounds. Once I am done with my rounds, I will entertain you. Yes, okay. Now let me complete my rounds. Okay. Similarly, uh, in our lives, these distractions in terms of overthinking." You know, or getting distracted towards something. This can come to do list, uh, such and such, such and such message I am to send to someone. So important would come, and at that time we should say, yeah, yeah, of course we'll do this. But once my rounds are done, we'll do that. So I am not saying no to the temptations. I am not saying no to them. I am just postponing them. Postponing. Yeah, we'll do it. grudging yeah of course negative thinking of course we'll do it negative thinking is very positive we'll do this negative thing but after chanting 16 rounds once we are done with 16 rounds till the 16 rounds are done you help me and after 16 rounds are done i will help you in negative thinking theek hai all right fine are you done deal joint venture this is the way we trick the mind postponing just like haridas thakur Namacharya Haridas Thakur, he postponed. Yeah, we'll enjoy. Yeah, we'll, absolutely. I'll serve you. But let me complete my rounds, and then. So what was the result? The prostitute became devotee. Similarly, our mind, which keeps bringing some temptations and provocations, inspirations. So at that time, we can tell them, "My mind, till sixteen rounds, you support me. After that, I'll do whatever you want to do." But the trick is that. once the mind has supported us in our 16 rounds of chanting attentively mind would not be in a position to do anything nasty and yeah. that's the trick so they postpone the temptations they postpone they negative thinking yeah yeah we'll do negative thinking once we are done with 16 rounds lot of negative thinking we will do that but mind would not be in a condition to do negative thinking in case the mind has done chanting the same yeah. thing goes with sleep no prabhu ji same thing goes with sleep yeah sleep cuz sometimes in case you can postpone it that's wonderful but sometimes sleep is way too obsessive yes no i want to be entertained now it, but then then we have to take rest in case sleep is very strong uh, very intense but otherwise well, yeah sleep come after one hour and nidra devi is very obedient to you then of course you can do that yes okay prabhu ji hari krishna yeah okay next is diksha ahuja mata ji Hi Krishna Prabhu ji, Tanak Pranam. Uh, thank you so much, Prabhu ji. I was suffering from this offense of inner intention, so I just wanted to ask one point that uh, Prabhu ji, ki uh, aisa ho is this uh, that our uh, breathing, breathe our breaths are uh, counted, so we should be careful. So I just wanted to ask that when we are chanting, so in one breathing, in one breath, how many times we should chant? like because the breaths are limited so i was sometimes thinking that i should chant more so i just wanted to oh how many chapatis you eat in a day yeah in a day six six chapatis you know i take 12 chapatis so who is purer the one who takes six chapatis or the one who takes 12 chapatis it's as per the diet of absolutely so that means it is more individual there is no such thing as so many names in one breath is appropriate uh, so three three maha mantras are appropriate but five maha mantras no 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 it's not like that it is very individualistic it is very individualistic in case in one breath you can comfortably and distinctly chant three hari krishna maha mantras perfectly fine if one maha mantra that is all perfectly fine but the connection that attention 
that uh, that uh, that should that should happen. So that can happen one breath, three holy names, three mahamantras, or two mahamantras. It is more individualistic. So there is no as such fixed number that oh, ladies and gentlemen, in one breath, one should chant three mahamantras. Thank you very much. No, there is no such thing. And Prabhuji, uh, same, I wanted to ask that because I want to increase my number of rounds and I have limited time. So as a matter of practice also, I am asking that mm. should I should, like sometimes we have to force ourselves to increase them. So like in a life of a sadhak, does this, question, does this happen? Because this is just my mind, because I'm just trying to increase now. So. Yeah. So I would say keep your minimum 16 as minimum 16. Over and above, you can do 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 48, 45, 64, 128. That's perfectly okay. But do not change your minimum quota. Do not change your minimum quota. I have seen sometimes devotees when they are way too busy or sometimes in future they become busy. And then, 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 then they have to compromise their vows. It gives them a lot of guilt. So otherwise you chant as much as possible. But you keep minimum 16 as minimum 16. You chant over and above, that's perfectly fine. So in the context of uh, increasing on the number of breaths, I was asking that I am focusing on that because oh. Achha, I see. So I have limited time, but I want to increase. So I was just focusing on the breath now. There is yeah. that two or three I should chant because I'm able to chant one and a half. So in that case, I was well, in, that, in that one and a half, are you attentive? So I am more attentive and I'm more focused to increase it. No, you should see attention in hearing the holy name, not in number. Otherwise, you will become more speed conscious than Krishna conscious. You know, you'll become more speed conscious. Now, in a single breath, two Mahamantras. Fair five. Yeah, bingo. Where is my trophy? I did five Mahamantras in single breath. Yeah, so I would be more speed conscious than Krishna conscious. So you should see in a breath, whatever speed makes you attentive in chanting the names, that's important. Yeah. Yes, Prabhuji. And Prabhuji, last thing that one when uh, Jabhama, uh when we are chanting, should we have a proper uh, melody every time, like the same meter? So what should we call it in English? Right? You know, uh, of course, in, in case you maintain a meter, that is good because then that, then, then you are done with that rhythm. You know, but in case rhythm makes you ritualistic, in case, you know, you are done with the, and rhythm becomes very mechanical, ritualistic kind of, then you can change the rhythm as well. Like one of the ways to chant attentively, uh, Radhisha Prabhu was sharing, like there are eight couplets in the holy name. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So each time you chant one loudly, like in the first would be Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Second time, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Third time, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. In this way, the mind also got an activity. Hey, you focus. Other mind says, well. The tongue is chanting, the ear is hearing. I got no job, and now I am flying. Hey, mind, you come. Have you got a job for you? Come, come, come. So engaging the mind also in chanting. Yeah. But of course, this is good for in the beginning practices. As you become more uh, regular chanted, then chanting should be more driven by prayers. That's that's very important. Thank you so much, Hare Krishna, Tanak. Hare Krishna Prabhu. My Hare. English is not that good. Oh Your English is very good. I can hear it clearly. Fabulous <laughs> English. Prabhuji, actually, I am not able to complete my rounds. Why? And slowly, I am losing my interest in chanting also. Oh. Do you know, there are drunkards, they drink. Why they continue to drink? Even though that leads to kidney failure, they go for dialysis. Still, they continue to drink. Do, 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 drinking. Do you know why? Because they drink in association. 
Hey, cheers, cheers, yeah, man, party, party, man, party. Because they drink in association, they continue to drink. Even though wine is bitter, it's not tasty. Yet people continue to drink because they do it in association. On the rocks, neat, with soda, warm water, with this, that. They do Madira Katha. And along with Madira Katha, they have association as well. So that, that is a continuum. Same funda goes for chanting. In case you are not regularly associating with devotees, gradually you would lose taste for chanting. You know, Shil Jagadananda, Jagadananda Pandit in Prem Vaivartha, he says that if somebody is not taking association of devotees, then at the max, if he is very fortunate, can reach Navhas level, not beyond. But for Shuddha Nam, one should take association of devotees. If somebody is very fortunate, then without association, can reach Navhas. Not more than that. So you should regularly take association of devotees. Once Lord Chaitanya saw one Brahmin, he was singing and dancing, he was shedding tears. And then Lord Chaitanya said, excuse me, have you ever associated with uh, uh, Madhavanand Puri? He said, yeah, I'm his disciple. He said, yeah, I could see that. Because you have because you have associated with, with Madhavendra Puri and that's why there are tears in your eyes. I can see that. You are chanting the Hare Krishna Mahamantra and you are weeping in joy, in ecstasy. Association. So you should increase the frequency and quality of your association. Thank you. Then you'll have, yeah, then you'll have taste for chanting. Also, you can hear and read some of the glories of the holy name. There are some wonderful lectures also on YouTube by the devotees. You can also hear them. Naisachin in the Maharaj has got his lectures, wonderful lectures on the holy name. Rumpad Maharaj has got wonderful lectures. Uh, Bhakti Chaitanya Maharaj has got wonderful lectures on the holy name. Uh, his only Bhakti Brihad Bhagaswami Maharaj has got wonderful lectures on the holy name. Uh, Bhurjan Prabhu also has got his series on the holy name. Uh, Amrendra Prabhu has got fabulous lectures on the holy name. So Chaitanya Charan Prabhu also has got wonderful series on the holy name. So in this way, so many Vaishnavas have spoken about holy name. So you should listen. Yeah, till the time you can personally go and associate, you should listen from them. Yeah. Thank you, Prabhuji. And Prabhuji, because of you, I, I got to know about Krishna consciousness. Thank you so much. And because of me, because of Prabhupada. Jai Shri Prabhupada. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Okay, Ayush Bhalla Prabhu. Yes, what's your question? Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Prabhuji, I don't have any question, Prabhuji. Yeah. I want to say that. Can you please pray for me? Okay, uh, I'll pray for you. What should I pray? Prabhuji, can you please pray about uh, that? I, uh, Prabhuji, my English is not that much. Good. That's okay. Whatever you say. Yeah, please go ahead. I have fever. So, Prabhuji, can you please pray for that? That it cures. And Prabhuji, I have to sing a bhajan. Uh, Krishna Bhajan in uh, my school. So, Prabhuji, that's why I am saying that. Okay. So, uh, may Krishna fulfill all your spiritual aspirations and may your material desires get finished as soon as possible and may your heart get naturally, spontaneously inclined towards chanting Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Ram. Is it okay? Yeah. Okay, now we have Hardi Shah. What is yes? Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Yes, Hare Krishna. Thank you so much for wonderful lecture, Prabhuji. Dandwat Pranams. Uh, Prabhuji, sometimes my chanting is so dry. And uh, I was chanting like a machine and then again become strict on myself. But uh, and, yeah. and start chanting attentively. But after five to ten uh, more Mahamantra again, and the again uh, inattentive chanting started. I prepared myself before I before I chant that I have to chant perfectly. But when I start my chanting, all glories of holy name I heard are forgotten. Please yeah. guide me. So it is not just your condition. It is a condition of many, many struggling sadhakas, including myself. Uh, but what I do and which is very helpful to me, when I see that my chanting is becoming mechanical, I bring prayers. I bring some prayers. Sometimes the prayers are coming from the acharyas. Sometimes my own personal prayers as well. So that you bring, so you can, you can bring uh, prayers being embedded in chanting. And it is a bona fide way because Shila Bhakti Maharaj, who is chanting Shuddhanam, he used to do chanting embedded with prayers, glories of the holy name. So that you can do. 
you know within one chanting one round in between you can offer some prayers which are whichever your favorite your prayers are so that when lashishashtakam namashtakam uh, hare namashtakam wonderful prayers ash so you can sing, sing one stanza mm -hmm. and then you can proceed hare krishna hare krishna hare krishna hare krishna hare hare ram hare ram 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 yo i thought was a connection hare sada vasita tatra यत्र गायन्ति भक्ति हरे हरे कृष्णा 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 मानदेना कीर्तनीय सदा हरि हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण Okay, Krishna says that bhajatam priti purvakam. One should do bhajan priti purvak, affectionately, lovingly. Okay, now five Hare Krishna Mahamantras, affectionately and lovingly. Five Hare Krishna Mahamantras, not hundred and eight. Five. In this way, you can make chanting embedded with prayers, and then you will see more connection. So you would need less of prayers because chanting in itself would be acting like prayer, constant connection. Thank you so much, Prabhuji. Don't not pronounce. Shyam Vallabhi Mata Ji. Hey Krishna, Prabhuji, please accept my humble obeisances. As well. Prabhuji, if I want to chant extra rounds, can I do? I have completed sixteen rounds. Then, if I want to chant more, can I do hearing and at the same time chanting also? Can I do hearing? That means we are hearing a lecture. Yes, Prabhuji. And then no, at the time of uh, only in two places when you should not chant. Otherwise, we should do kirtana sada hari. What only in two conditions we should not chant japa. One when you are hearing hari katha, at that time we should not chant japa. You should have pen and paper, and hear attentively and note down. Okay. Wonderful points, important points. Do that. Second, when there is kirtan happening, when there is kirtan happening, you should also be singing. Now, sometimes I see devotees chanting japa and kirtan. They are doing Hari Bol, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Any chanting, Hari 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 H
you say I'm going to say bless you, and I'll also say bless you. Hare Krishna, Guruji. Hare Krishna. Okay, Kirti Mata Ji. Hare Krishna, Babaji, please accept my obeisance. As well, Hare Krishna. Uh, Prabhuji, uh, can you please let me know, like, if the mind is too much disturbed or accumulated with so many thoughts and uh, it is becoming an obstacle while chanting, what we can do at that particular moment to slow down the mind and continue to chant? Postpone. Postpone it. Tell the mind, mind, you want to do overthinking, right? You do a lot of overthinking. Once we are done with the round, we are, it's still the mind is just as one round. That's way too much. Okay, 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 okay. Just five times. Hare Krishna Maha. Five times. And then we will do. Once you are done with five times, another five times, another five times, another five times. In this way, we have to dodge the mind. Mind has dodged us from so many lifetimes. Now, in this life, we would dodge the mind. But by the strength of the holy name. Yeah? Yes, Prabhuji. Prabhuji, uh, one more question. Uh, uh, like the when the heart is heart is very hard, like yeah. hard hearted. So how can we make it soft so that we can well, try? Soft. To... Yeah. So you can do this forgiveness exercise and you serve the Vaishnavas. And by their mercy our heart will become soft. And practice this third verse of Shikshashtikam as much as possible, although it is very difficult verse. Very difficult verse. One devotee poet said, I was very enthusiastic to do Shuddha Bhakti. But as soon as I, I, read, I read the third verse of Shikshashtikam, I said, I another piece of each in our words is really difficult. But we should try to do as much as possible. Practice it. By the most holy name, it will manifest. The qualities will manifest. Okay, Niyati Jain Mataji. Uh, Prabhuji, many times it happens like uh, we used to chant and uh, other than that, uh, we used to pretend to be devotees. Like uh, we used to pre pretend to be like, oh, we are great devotees of Krishna. We are worshipping him. Uh, and many times uh, when we used to see our devotee friends, we used to uh, greet them like, Hare Krishna Mataji, Dandavat Pranam. Uh, I'm like your servant. Please treat me like that. So many times we used to pretend that, but we actually don't used to feel the same. So hmm. what we used to do in that condition, Prabhuji? Robert used to say, fake it till you make it. So currently we are not humble at heart. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So fake it. Sri Prabhupada has got one lecture from pretension to perfection. In the beginning, we pretend, but gradually we reach perfection because we keep doing the same activity. Yeah. But this happens gradually. Just like you know, um, an iron is covered by um by gold plating. This is gold plating. So when you say, oh, I see, there's gold plating. The iron has turned into gold. No, it is still iron inside. And that's why when there is moisture, then all of this covering comes out. So what we should do, we should continue this chanting. More we continue to chant the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, then what will happen gradually, there would be complete change. The iron would change into gold. But currently, our situation is, yeah, yeah we do some pretension. But the point is that we should continue the path of bhakti. Gradually, we will make it. Currently, we are faking it. Yeah, we are not devotees. We are not devotees, actually. Once Sasuru Maharaj, he wrote a poem. And at the bottom, he said, Your devotee, Sasuru Das Goswami. And he showed the poem to Shri Prabhupada. And Shri Prabhupada said, Sasuru, you have written that your devotee. We are, we are not devotees of Krishna. We are becoming devotees of Krishna. We are simply servants of Krishna. So we are in a process to become a devotee. To become a devotee is a very exalted thing. Ah, devotee of Krishna becomes this is a very exalted thing. We have yet not become devotees. You know, I may have dhoti, kurta, tilak, kantimala, janeu. Hey! Yeah, devotee. You know, just like in a fancy dress competition, we do fancy dress competition. I am police officer. My name is Jacob. So not that I have become police officer. I am wearing a dress. Of a police officer. Similarly, we have dressed ourselves like devotees. But inside, we are not devotees. We are becoming devotees. At least I can say for myself, I have yet not become devotee of Krishna. 
but I have full faith that one day by mercy of Shri Prabhupada, I would become a devotee. So with this feeling, we should submit ourselves, Lord. Yeah. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, please pray for me so that I could uh, have some taste in chanting and serve uh, Shri uh, Prabhuji. I may also have some, some taste in chanting. You may also get taste for chanting. Okay. All right. Hemu. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, Danvat Pranam. Yes, Matri. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Yeah. Question number one. Uh, I have two questions actually. Uh, one question, I do 16 rounds and after doing 16 rounds, if I'm sitting in the evening, uh, I tend to do more rounds, but my intention is, okay, I should have that feel good factor of doing their chanting. Because sometimes yeah. you feel really good. Sometimes you just do it for doing it. Yeah. And I don't know. I've done one round and I haven't got that good effect. Let me do it one more. Let me do it one mm. more. I end up doing 22 to 24 rounds in a day. So is it wrong? No, because this is good. I'm trying to take good. good doctor. This is very good because good chanting produces more chanting. But the good chanting is not happening. I was just taking effort. Half of the round is feeling. okay. Maintain it is good. I would say maintain this feeling. I, my chanting is not good. My chanting is not good. I have to improve. My chanting is not good. I have to improve. And this is very good state of consciousness. So maintain this consciousness and keep chanting more. 18, 20, 22. But the okay. chanting is going good. Because bad chanting says no more chanting. In case somebody has really chanted bad rounds, but say, okay, I'm done with 16. Oh, 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 oh. Bad chanting leads to no more chanting. And good chanting leads to more chanting. Okay. You are chanting good, but this state of consciousness is very nice. I'm not chanting nicely. I should improve. This is very good. Okay. As you said that, yes, sometimes in chanting, we can do prayers. I, I, I may be wrong. What I do is I start talking to God in between. I'll, I'll talk to Shinti or, or I talk to Krishna and then I again start the chanting. So is that you okay because talk. I'm interrupting the yeah, that talk, But have some small talk. Not that, you know, after uh, in between you start, you know, Krishna, it's been so many years now, and then half an hour passed in talking to God. Oh, <laughs> not no, no, that. Small, small talks. Small yes. talk. I, I just and say my heart to her and I yeah. say, okay, now I'll continue. For half a minute, it's okay. Fine. All right. Thank you so much, Prabhuji. Bless me that I, I, I'm I trying to be a bhakta. I should get that feel good, rasa of that bhakti. Please bless me with that. Okay. I pray for all Hare. of us. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Prabhuji. Okay, where Bhavi Tiwari Mataji? Hare Krishna, Dandavat Pranam, Prabhuji. Nice to see you. Um, so, I heard um, some few people that uh, Manor, uh, sorry, Mantic chanting is more effective than Japa chanting on the beat. So, I don't exactly know the answer of this question. I mean, people have been asking this one. Yeah. So, could you please help me with this? Mati, in the beginning stages, one should chant. Not from the mind, but we should actually verbally chant. We should make sound in the beginning the days of our chanting. Because our mind is way too restless, so it goes here and there. But as you become more attuned with chanting, then gradually you will see our chanting, it toggles between the tongue and the mind. The mind and the tongue. It toggles in between them. So then, then this chanting, you know, it gets completed faster also. Six minutes, six and a half minutes, sometimes five minutes also. Four and a half minutes. I know devotees completing their uh, rounds in four minutes. Because now, because the mind is becoming attuned to chanting. And mind is faster than the senses, the tongue. That's why we are able to chant more. But that happens in the later stages of chanting. But in the beginning, we should be speaking, we should be hearing. That's the way we should be. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Devon and Pissar. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Um, please accept my humble obeisance. Humble obeisance to you as well. Thank you. Um, it happens to me lately in the last six months, maybe more often. I, I have difficulties with chanting um, with the mind. And then um, in my mind come different bhajans and mm -hmm. I can... 
even most of the time recognize the author, Radha Natswami, Satchinanda Natswami, some uh, exalted devotees in our yatra, Panchatattva yatra in Slovenia. Okay. Um, and then I somehow relish or maybe even enjoy this. And uh -huh. I wanted to ask if this is wrong, but I, I feel this like a special mercy because I'm not a mus musician. So uh -huh. if you would ask me to, to sing a bhajan of Radhanath Swami, I could not do it. But when uh -huh. it comes somehow from above, I, I wanted to ask. And somehow then I become lazy to chant, you know, because maybe I'm on Japa walk and then this comes and I relish it and... At that time, I don't uh, chant, so I would like to hear your comment, please. Yes, although this is not wrong, but this is not best also. The best is that when I chant, I should just do chanting. But yes, instead of mind going into some mundane subject matter, some kind of sense object, some kind of sensuality, better than that is certainly my mind goes to some kind of spiritual place, spiritual bhajan, some uh, some spiritual personality and this is way better than the mind going to any mundane subject matter so in case you are relishing it that's very good that's so that means you are hooking on to chanting but in case you see that the mind is becoming too much absorbed in this and my chanting is getting stopped then at that time we can tell the mind we will certainly do this bhajan but after completing my rounds yeah or maybe after completing this round We'll do the bhajan and then resume the chanting. In this way, there would be more consistency in terms of chanting. Otherwise, mind, you know, mind, uh, thank God, of course, in your case, your mind is so beautiful that your mind goes to Radhana Swami Maharaj Kirtan or Sachinandan Maharaj Kirtan. And that's wonderful, actually, in comparison to the mind of a person like me, which goes to all kind of places. So that is, you are blessed. You are, you are way ahead than me in chanting. But still, you are to go more ahead to become actually spiritually perfect in your chanting when you are just chanting. And as you know, in terms of all spiritual practices, Japa is the hardest. Even Kirtan, because there is element of music and we are all singing together. So we are getting combined mercy. And there are some devotees who are chanting Shuddha Naam. So we become part of the congregation of those group of devotees. And then we they are taking mercy. And that shower of mercy also comes upon us. So we said, yeah, oh, so that's so nice. As Krishna was showering mercy. Yes, those who are chanting, Shudana, mercy, mercy, mercy. And we were also there with them. Oh, so we also got, we also bathed in that mercy. So Sankirtan is certainly more connecting, no doubt. But Japa is our individual expression of seriousness in Krishna. Because Japa is hard. Kirtan is easy. Nobody sleeps in Kirtan. But in Japa, we sleep. Nobody gets distracted in Sankirtan, but we get distracted in Japa. So Shri Prabhupada used to say, uh, Nam Sankirtan is like Rasa Leela. But Japa is Nikunj Seva. Our individual personal service to Radha and Krishna. That is Nikunj Seva. But Rasa Leela is group activity. So both are important, no doubt. Both are important. But Japa is my own personal, individual expression of my loyalty, my fidelity to Krishna, my sincerity to Krishna. Krishna, I'm serious about you. I'm serious about you. How do we express that? In chanting Hare Krishna. So that's why even though it is hard, but we should do it. It's struggle, but we should go through this struggle. It's a meaningful struggle. And in this way, your situation is always very, very good. That you are not thinking of any mundane subject matters. But from good, you have to become best. From good, better, best. So come to the best level of chanting means just chanting. That's the best level. Is that okay, Mataji? Uh, yes, thank you also the, for humorous part of your uh, lecturing. Uh, could I maybe ask one more question? Which just sure, please, go ahead. Uh, what would you advise me about um, commitment? Uh, how to commit to the holy name and to Guru? 
okay we know life for example there are various ways of connecting or uh, increasing the commitment like for example sitting and chanting you now devotees attend to walk because mind says you know i'm sitting oh, 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 oh let's go for some variety let's explore the variety around me and chant so we tend to walk so this way I gradually i can increase my resolve okay amog lila das you chant four rounds sitting even the mind is saying come on get up man get up and explore the world the variety around you no four rounds you chant sitting and then you will get up and then you can spend one month at least four rounds sitting and then you you can get up next month eight rounds and then get up in between mind would say come on you know it was the, the deal was for four rounds now you are increased for eight rounds that's not good shut up eight rounds and then we'll get up next month come to 12 rounds before 12 rounds do not get up sit with determination yes and gradually come to 16 rounds sitting and completing your 16 rounds one day one search devotee ashil prabhupad what will please you the most shri prabhupad what will please you the most shri prabhupad said if you chant your 16 rounds in single sitting that will please me the most so we have we should come to that level of in a single sitting chanting 16 rounds the mind is restless passionate we have to tolerate krishna i am tolerating this as an expression of love for you i sit and chant from 4 to 8 to 12 to 16 increasing the resolve step by step is that okay thank you very much uh, i wish you and all assembled devotees all the mercy of uh, shila prabhupad shrimati tulasi devi shrimati radharani and shri panchatatva hari krishna thank you so merciful of you thank you so much okay sachin man prabhu hari krishna prabhu ji dhanat pranam thanks for the wonderful session prabhu ji prabhu ji i want to ask one question like uh, 16 rounds i am doing in the morning and when i am going to my office so i am trying to do 48 rounds there on the counter so i am working in a customer service i am thinking that i am doing right or not because my mind is in the like customer service but still i am chanting on the round uh, counter okay but you count but you do you count those rounds in your daily quota of our chanting or is it like extra extra prabhu ji because 16 rounds i am doing at home only okay okay all right 16 rounds you should chant on japa attentively the rest of the time yeah. i can say maybe you are instead of chanting you can have you can listen to the, some uh, some some chanting of the holy name one on some mp3 player you know that will be better prabhu ji i am working at airport so it's not possible there so that's why instead of talking and necessarily smart. with the colleagues i don't know whether you know <clears throat> No, these kind of earphones they are very good like i have got this brahmachari earphones <laughs> so you can have them and then in one of the years and then you can have the holy name yeah and do you are doing your job nicely prabhu ji they say earphones are so this way you can manage and be very good okay prabhu ji and on the second question prabhu ji like on ekadashi i am trying to do max round so even in the groups if i will tell that for, to encourage other devotees that uh, let's do chanting all together like max i did 112 rounds but when i tell to devotees like this now next day my chanting rounds are going down so then i should i tell like this or not no you should tell only to your guardian not to everyone hey ladies and gentlemen my chanting is going down hari bol such an encouraging news very discouraging news so don't share it with any with everyone share it with your guardian your counselor your guide your shiksha guru diksha guru is that you can share but not with the world it should not be printed in newspaper headlines okay, such a body is not chanting you know it's now chanting only 12 rounds okay so okay now shan gandhi hare krishna prabhu ji hare krishna Prabhu ji, my I am I am my name is Shan Gandhi, and my uh, my my question is I am chanting fifty rounds today in whole day, 
in whole day i am uh, starting from two rounds in last year in october and lately i rounds on 8 and then 16 and then and this year i can't satisfy with 16 i am getting interest in chanting and and in in starting and their their mind is always running here and there but today it's always i feel the presence of krishna in, in front of me when i chanting so i, I learned in bhagavatam class that uh, krishna is uh, dancing on our tongue when we are chanting hari naam so wow. it's it's a mere my question is that i can uh, uh, manage time when when we in office and the bus when the traffic jams also i can chant 50 rounds in whole day but in the in sunday we have the in the services in temple is called rohini radha madan temple mm-hmm. and there were services in kirtan in prasadam uh, distribution so i can't manage the time and so in 16 only 16 on sunday how i can manage time to fix on 50 on sunday also with the with the services it's my question was well, you know then you have to be, i have to go into the, the the details of your schedule then i may say something but usually i i i prefer that when you are traveling you should you can do some reading and hearing yes prabhu ji i can read here because shravanam empowers our enthuses our kirtanam bilkul prabhu ji so okay. that's why when traveling we should do some hearing so hear some hari katha hear the glories of krishna so that next time when you are chanting there is greater connect yes prabhu ji i read in read bhagavad gita and uh, and small proper books in when uh, when we are coming to home from the office in the bus i will read that and when we are going to office i am chanting and then and the, and in when we are coming to home we chant again and since last round is completed till 10 okay good and so then i read but book try to be more book. attentive yeah increase the quality of your chanting as well yes prabhu ji yeah. okay okay anak nandini mata ji i think hari krishna prabhu ji dhanyavad pranam to you हरे कृष्णा प्रभु जी प्लीज गो अहेड हरे कृष्णा प्रभु जी धन्यवाद प्रणाम हाँ प्रभु जी मुझे मैं इंग्लिश में बात नहीं कर पाऊंगी इसलिए हिंदी नहीं बोलू okay, हिंदी ओके देन आई ट्रांसलेट इन इंग्लिश ओके गो अहेड प्रभु जी मेरी ये रिक्वेस्ट थी मैं चाहती हूँ मेरा बेटा है ना मैं चाहती हूँ वो आपके जैसे बने बड़ा होके यू वॉन्ट योर सन टू बिकम लाइक मी हाँ जी बस प्रभु जी मैं वो खूब पढ़ लिख के एक कामयाब इंसान बने और उसके बाद आप आपके जैसे बने बस मेरा ये सपना है मैं रोज ये सपना देखती हूँ यू वॉन्ट मी दैट योर सन शुड बिकम लाइक मी हाँ जी प्रभु जी प्लीज उसको आशीर्वाद दीजिए कि वो आपके जैसे बने वेल आई वुड से दैट ही शुड नॉट बिकम लाइक मी ही शुड बिकम हंड्रेड टाइम्स बेटर देन मी आई एम वेरी स्मॉल पर्सन so i i pray that may krishna make your child 100 ayush 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 uska naam hai prabhu ji please take it and ayush becomes a very bright soul he becomes your pride and he also uh, becomes a great preacher of krishna consciousness aur uh, prabhu ji haan ji main jyada se jyada chanting karu ye aashirwad mere liye so she want blessings that i should bless you that you chant more and more all right we i pray for all the devotees <laughs> Are we all chant more and more? Yeah. Hare Krishna, Hare. Prabhu Ji, Dhanu Sir, now. Nice to you. Gorangi Mata Ji, how are you doing? Hi, Krishna Prabhu. I'm Hi. doing fine. With an, such an enthusiastic response, how could I not be doing fine? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My question is concerning this crying, praying to cry ad infinitum, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so. you know tears are like kind of impossible for me yeah, yeah. so yeah, yeah. so for me is more meaningful to to cry in the form of endeavor you know of yeah. course on my own i cannot do anything krishna's mercy has to be there but i can show krishna how badly i want him by my endeavor for me that is like a more meaningful way of of crying rather than trying to force of course these artificial tears yeah. so I, i i mean do you approve or what yes i 500% approve we should actually genuinely oh. put efforts and that's the best way that we cry and along with that these the the prayers which are done by the vaishnava acharyas they also change the template of our mind the template of our consciousness so that we are more in a receptive mood to take the nectar of the holy name 
so of course mm-hmm. like I, i make make efforts i sit straight and i'll say yes i'll stay focused i'll not let the mind get distracted and in terms of efforts we should do 500% efforts and along with that we should also change the the template of the consciousness to receive the holy name mm-hmm. you know, like suppose mm-hmm. bajtam priti purvakam yes i should affectionately chant so affection mm-hmm. in case if that affection is not coming then i would beg krishna krishna i beg you bring that affection in my heart i'm so stone hearted mm-hmm. my heart is steel framed krishna please melt the steel oh lord and then again you get into chanting so in this way we amalgamate chanting and prayers and prayers and chanting and chanting and mm-hmm. prayers so the, the prayers part especially is very effective in changing the template the demography mm-hmm. of the mind. so that is both of them together would certainly be very impactful but yes we should generally make efforts as well not that we are uh, sitting and then say krishna help me <laughs> krishna <laughs> लास्ट क्वेश्चन प्रभु जी एक्चुअली प्रभु जी मेरा क्वेश्चन ये है कि जैसे हम कई बार ना ग्रुप में कुछ ऐसे अलग अलग प्रभु जी के लेक्चर शेयर करते हैं तो एक बार माता जी ने मुझे इस बात के लिए अलग अलग प्रभु जी के लेक्चर When case you absolutely do not know how to speak, then of course I will translate no, it. But yeah. that's not issue. Okay. Actually, then, we sometimes uh, share different Prabhuji's lectures in the group even. Hmm, so hmm. sometimes Mata Ji objection objectify the theme that we should not share different lectures from different Prabhuji's because some girls are new in the bhakti; they get distracted with different moods of the different Prabhuji's. Is this any problem? Um. there is no problem as such you know all devotees are speaking krishna consciousness and all of them are talking about uh, uh, krishna as per the teachings of shri prabhupada but in the beginning days in the beginning days there should be one speaker so that devotees they get attuned to uh, krishna conscious philosophy once they become attuned say in few months and then different speakers can be introduced but in the beginning if there is one speaker that is good provided the speaker should not become possessive about the listeners now sometimes this is a common disease of many preachers it's a common disease of many leaders in our movement they become possessive about their counselees their followers they become possessive this is my counseling i am not this person a devotee so it's my property or oh, really ah oh, duty pai nobody is our property all of us are property of shri prabhupada all of us are property of lord chaitanya so in case this particular preacher is not possessive in nature then of course one devotee can preach in the beginning days and as per somebody becomes uh, comfortable in philosophy then more speakers one can hear like for example in our movement there are some glossy speakers like shri radhanath maharaj shri radha gobind maharaj uh, amrendra prabhu wow so many devotees are there there yeah, sachinandan maharaj bhakti chaitanya maharaj wow so we should hear them no doubt and but in the beginning days yeah, one preacher provided this preacher is not possessive in nature even sometimes we feel that uh, we are listening the lecture but that is going to be very very heavy so how we can take it you know that's why i'm saying in the beginning we should prepare the person so that even heavy lecture can be digested and sometimes little heavy lectures are also required you know people want with jolted they want a jolt so sometimes heavy lectures they jolt the person in a positive way you know so that's why uh, we need some jolting lectures as well but somewhat little later not immediately because you know why god that it was way too shocking man so instead of uh, making person restless and quit krishna consciousness out of confusion 
um, later on they can be introduced. And some heavy lectures are also required. Yeah, they purify us, they jolt us, they shake us from our conceptions and misconceptions. So that's required. Thank but you yes, so it has to be step by step, gradually. Kramashah. I would just only like to say that thank you for being my inspiration because I uh, entered into the Krishna consciousness just because of you after no, no. listening to your videos, lectures. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, devotees, thank you very much for your patience. Thank you very much for listening nicely, asking such good questions. Thank you very, very much again. Uh, you are also today to hear from His Honor Sachinandan Maharaj. He would have given answers to next level of his realization. My answers were quite theoretical. My explanation was also theoretical. But Sachinandan Maharaj would have actually shared his taste of chanting the holy name. So I certainly could not be a substitute. But uh, still, you tolerated me. That's your kindness. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, Brasundar Prabhuji, for giving me a chance to say Thank something. Thank you, Amarila. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna, Dhanrat Pranam. Hare Krishna. Jai Shri Bhavad Ki Jai. Last time, when I was in the first place, I was in the first place. There is one, one officially one uh, last uh, session of Japa Marathon after some days uh, is, is, is by you only. So Japa Marathon will end with your class. Okay. okay. All Are well. It? That doesn't end well. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Jai. Shri Roma. Jai. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.